Woodford County. Man, I'm excited. Woodford County has something to prove. Five and six last year wasn't good, near good enough for anybody here. And the best remedy. Kids are working hard. The biggest battle on the field is at quarterback. Junior Ryan Garahan and sophomore Matt Couch are both vying for the position. They're really neck and neck. It could be one of those things that we're going to see a lot of them both all year long. Um, I'd like for a separation. I mean, that makes it easier on everybody. I just like it that there's two guys so they actually have competition, so they have to fight for it. It's just not them getting it. I mean, I'm fine with either one of them as long as they can do the job. Chris Tracy believes whoever wins the job will be protected by the best offensive line he's had since he's been at Woodford County. We look really good this year, you know, two or three starters coming back and two or three more guys who have played. Anchoring that unit at center, senior Trey Gentry, who's also an all-state wrestler. He gives us at center uh, the ability to do some things that, you know, because of his, his, his athleticism uh, that, that a lot of teams won't be able to do. Woodford County will have to change how they attack teams offensively. The Yellow Jackets simply don't have the athletes at the skill positions they've had in years past. We have a bunch of tall people, but speed is where we're lacking a little bit. Like, we're not the fastest, but we have, we're all tall and we all have pretty good hands. Overall, heading into this season, Woodford County loves their chances. I look forward to us playing in the playoffs and making a run.